Hello everybody, this is Phasey and Phoenix back playing Factorio with Wally. How's it going, Wally? Hey, pretty good. Good, good. Uh, we got a little rambunctious off camera and started building more train stations here. Uh, started filling them in, actually. And, uh, well, now we're back. And uh, we're about ready to actually start putting things in these stations. Uh, we almost have coal, except it's not connected to the exit point. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I noticed that this is a little off because of some pre-placed power poles. There we go. That fixes that ugly thing. Kinda, sorta. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. Good. Perfect. And by what I mean perfect, I mean good enough. Um, we also need some more blue inserters, which I can't make. Haha. <laughs> And I made my little runabout, or in other words, the car. Uh, I've got a bad reputation with this thing, so um, I will hit lots of things. Probably Wally, at least once or twice. That's why I usually hide on the other side of trees. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll run them over. Screw it. I uh, needed inserters to make blue inserters. Uh, and I also need beebs or BCBs. Hey, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yep. Those things. Iron plates. In large quantities. Oops, wait, wait, wait. Already forgetting. Get my car. Room. Oh, almost took out a radar. Easy there, killer. Radar insulted me, I swear. Ah, uh, train station times two. Power pole. Good thing you have uh, robots to fix those. Yeah, nanobots to uh, clean up the carnage afterwards, man. Any preference on this output track? Uh, I was just going to hook it up. Okay. I mean, that that not the usual inlet-outlet layout, but hey, it'll work. Yes, yeah, so I use the T, but yeah, that works. that works fine. Well, the T was with um, was was because of the the blueprints that I made. Um, the uh, tracks that I have forming the entrance in that particular book match better with the T tra uh, train than usual than the, than the other ones. Um, this one down here, you you did this one by hand with the in and exit uh, blueprints. So uh, Cole yeah, is going. Hey. They're taking a ride on that. Oh well. Coal is on the rails. Let's hook we it up. Hook it up yet? We don't need to hook it up yet. No. Um. Yeah, we'll just let it tra uh, do its thing, and we'll offset yeah, that. We're ready to go when we need to hook power up to hook it up to power. Yep. Um. Wait a minute. Hop in my car. That way, I can't run you over. You can do anything you put your mind to. <clears throat> Run you over inside my own car. That'd be neat. Ah, driving backwards. You come down to the base for a few minutes, anyways. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's brakes there. Yeah, brakes are for wusses. A few of these. Yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit here. Um, what are you grabbing up? I just needed to resupply my belts, my BCBs, just to have a handful in my, in hand. A handful in hand. Yes, that's it. Uh, that iron patch is already minored up, and I think all the belts and power are run. Um, I didn't put a, a radar down, of course, so we can't see. Um, what else we need? 
Uh, we should, well, make a couple so that we can put a couple down. I have a few in my hand now. Uh, radars? Okay. Maybe. <clears throat> yep. Let's see. Uh, other than, yeah, the basic, um, pipes, or, uh, uh belt stuff. All right. Um. Grab my car, or else I'm going to drive myself nuts. I'm out of habit of grabbing it up as I go. <laughs> Grab some more tin from the furnace on the way. Why the hell not? Uh, why are you going that far south? But not on the radar. Oh. That'll do it. Oh, of course, there's got to be trees here. I got it. Oh, well. Nanobots take care of trees, too. Termites do it better, but... We didn't make any termites. You can always feed the wood into a, um... Yeah, we actually need the wood, so that's, the why line, so that's why I'm not so disappointed about doing this. <laughs> Ooh, I did power it all up, so I just need to run large power poles to the uh, Gotta to hook the it all up. Line. Wait, did we power that up? Not... Did now. Oh, okay. Was that the train line or the... Or this mining array? This is going to be mining area. Or, no, uh, so I was asking what you, what you were asking, what we powered up. I was asking about the line, the train line more than the rest of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wired the train line in because that's how the coal station has power. Oh, uh, I should have remembered that. I realized. Yeah. Oops, I ran out. guess that's one thing we should have grabbed more of. I'll fill my bags up, though. Um... Well, here, uh, dump your wood into this. I'll go back, get some. There you go. There is a fuel difference for wood, isn't there? I mean, it's not the same as coal. It's, no, it's fewer megawatts, or megajoules, rather. Uh, I don't remember what coal is, but there's only four. Coal is... Oh. Few. And I made coal on me. So we're talking about putting um, putting a station between this iron patch and the copper patch just to the north. Yeah. To serve them both. Um. I would say we have the um you know, there's not a lot of room in there is there i think we can just have one uh what if, okay wait wait what if we if we had to we could put a um a, a train stacker on the north side of the copper patch and then oh, run a line snake down around. snake it around yeah and then uh put the station so that sorry about bumping the microphone push the station so that they're uh, horizontal, not vertical. And then you just come out about around the uh, east side of the iron pile and then join on the, on the line again. <coughs> Make a great big S sign, I mean. <laughs> I'm actually thinking there might be enough room to do it all in one. As crazy as that sounds. So do it all, I mean, all in a, all in a pile here. All right. Well, let's see what we but, got. But I'm laying it out without um, without bots. Nope, there's not enough room. I lied. Well, there would be enough room if we moved it further east, but I don't know if we want to do that or not. Well, I'm coming back. But wait. Okay. Uh, I actually got to do something with all this wood, don't I? Huh? Lots and lots and lots of raw wood. That was the wrong thing. Mm. 
fill you and fill you and fill you. Oh, I can't really fill you guys. All right, fine. Boy, this is just not working right. Here we go. Wood chests full of wood. Pop a little more coal into that. Vroom, vroom. Wait, I went too far. I need to be careful where I stand again. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh oh. Doug. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> Oh, turn come off on. your turn off your nanobots for a second. Uh, okay. Just to see yeah. if this will fit or not. So we'd have to go. Well, this actually can go a little closer. This can go like here, and then. Oh. Uh, this could go like here. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, why not? Um, and then this could go here. I mean, if we do... Let's see, where's the on-ramp? Entrance segment. I could go there. Yeah, that's just where I was about to put it. <laughs> <laughs> and I lined it up with the with the lights. So that would work, and then we just snake this guy in into that. That would work, and that'd give us a nice uh, iron loading station and a nice copper loading station uh, right here. Um, the only potential issue is how tight this is right here. One, two, three, four. Um, well, we can always make the reverse the belts. Yeah. Um, actually, I think it works. They're going to have to do like a 5 to 4 balancer or something maybe, but it works. It actually works. Because there's one, one, two, three, four, f five spaces. And there are five belts. What color are these? Are these yellow? They are yellow. Okay. Uh, that's like 48 per... Um, twenty six per. Uh, yeah, and we that's, have. That's just. Oh no 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 no. We have one hundred twenty five no. miners. So that's just about five belts worth. Just just shy five belts worth. Yeah. We have some mining productivity research, so it'll be five belts worth. So we'll just compress them into the four red belts. That'll work. Oh, here. You wanted some robots. Oh, yeah. And then we that's... can turn those guys on and let them get to work. That's half. <clears throat> go, go, Gadget Pots. Go, go, Godzilla. Yeah. Did I say that? I didn't say that. Can't prove I said. Uh, these are the rear ones here. I will use. Okay, one of these is the belts without the. No, it's just the whole darn train. Got two of the front loading ones. Rear rear low tech, okay. Then I What did I do? Is it wrong? Yeah, you put down red belts. Oh, That'll do it every time. 
That's all right. We could, yeah, we could make reds if we really wanted to. I think what we'll do, though, is uh, after we get this batch of stuff on the line, uh, we will um, start the bus and we can throw down a miniature belt array, which is still, at least for the first two types, still pretty much the same. Yeah, I was looking at that earlier. I don't have any more iron. Oh, yeah, I do. Wait a minute. What am I missing? Oh, yellow inserters. Uh, Those I can make. I don't have them on hand. Make here, them. here you go. Come here. Hold still. Oh, good. That'll do. I picked up some, too. Because I do have some iron. I just didn't have any yellows. I do have the BC BEBs, too. EBs or CB? EBGB, CB, G, EBs. Some things. Yeah. For Liberty Gibbets. Those things. I want the front loading one now. There we go. Make sure the iron station's all filled in before you waste resources on the copper one that we're not going to use immediately. Except for the uh, fuel belt, which we probably don't need here. Yeah, we shouldn't, because we should be able to just use the base's belt. Yeah, we just lead one off. You have any more yellows, or is that all of them? I Wait. do. I have at least another stack of fifty. Actually, do you have any electronic boards? I do not. I have one. Well, yeah, that's going to help. I need two for one, so. I figured you might have an odd one. Yep. Room, room, room. We're not that far, I gotta stop thinking that. <laughs> what is with this stuttering? Oh well. Um I will need some more of this eventually. And then I will need beebs. Beebs! It's, you know, it's still dark, even with that After Dark mod in there. <laughs> I'm not the type to, to lock it in daytime either. That's, that's gay. <laughs> that's lame. <laughs> yeah, that seems a little excessive. You need to learn how to use the brakes. <laughs> Breaks are for wusses. Iron chests. Mm -hmm. Ta da! All right, iron is ironing. Something. Oh, these are the okay. I did the second. I did the goof the second time. These are unloading blueprints. Derp. Oh yeah, good thing I didn't try and fiddle with it too much.
Come on, find the right. So where are, or did you just use uh, uh, upgrade I, planner to downgrade the? Yeah, I just used upgrade planner to downgrade. Downgrade planner. Yep. All right, I got to get a fresh book because I keep destroying them. Go tech train. All right. Um, and you wouldn't did it without me. Anyway, I'm all over it. All right. Why is this not loading? Because we didn't fill these in. There we go. Engage. All right, did you happen to make a train? <laughs> nope, but we can do that from up there. Yeah, we can do that from up there. So I don't think we need the copper right away because um, we still have a large portion of that patch we haven't even tapped yet. Yep. But the, the iron as... patch we have is not going to last very long in the base. You're renaming? Yeah. Alrighty. Hop in. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Engage. Slowly, gently, baby it. And Oops. Hit the power ball. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go through. It didn't work. Anyway. Red the needle. I'm done. Sledgehammer. <laughs> Sledgehammer approach, man. Uh, okay, so for trains, we needed engines. Lots more. So you want to just wire those four uh, output belts to the first four smelters here? Yep, that sounds good to me. So I'll go ahead and start running those. I guess I should have got more belts first. Slow walk. Slow walk. Yeah, it'll probably be a while before we can get the um, high enough level of... Uh, XOC. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, one train. I think the, I would make a car, but I think the lag will be too much for me. The latency around. Yeah, probably. Most likely. Um, should we do a um, a PAX train on its own on its own rail, perhaps? <laughs> I usually don't bother with PAX trains myself, but, um, oh, you told me about this belt thing and I haven't been using it. All right. Talk on it. Stop. Hmm? Talking to myself or talking out loud to myself. I usually don't use PAX trains myself. I just, um, I just make one work in the, in the context of what I have. But it's up to you.
the kind of thing that I might consider if we had a little bit more people involved. Uh, it's not really yeah. worth it. Not really worth it for one, and it's not really much more worth it for two. So, I mean, you could just assume plop a train down and tell it to go to a station and be done with it. Right. Uh oh. And not go to Iron Path One. Why is that? Oh, there's a there's a signal missing down here. All right, I'll go peek it out. Choo -choo. Just drive the train down. Yep. Choo choo. Actually, it doesn't chew, does it? It's a no. Uh, which one is it that it's missing? It was on the main line just before oh. the uh, exit from the station. This right one here. It's right in there. Yep. Right there. You probably need to, yeah. I think that'll do it. But I don't know. Let's bring out the while fat. You're, while you're down there. Nope. There's another. Oh, the, uh. The blueprint's down backwards. Doggone yeah, it. The, uh, yeah. Just pick up the signals and then <laughs> replop it. Don't forget uh, this. Um, what should we call it? Signal down here at the bottom. The chain signal down here at the. The other end. Yeah, I'll get it. I always do that. I always put the the station or the the parking lot down backwards. Never trust me to do your parking lots. Yeah, it's easy to do. This chain signal down here too at the. Sorry. This here? No, at the other end. That one's good. That oh. one places. Yeah. It's on the wrong side of the tracks. There it goes. Gage. The fat controller. Why is it not loading? Did you... Oh, I... Uh, wrong thing in there. Hang Filter on, that's my fault. Cars. Yep. With the wrong thing. So, derpy, 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 derpy. Derp! Um, that chain signal at the head of the uh, parking lot didn't place, I don't think. done with that. Okay, back to what I was doing, whatever it was I was doing. Oh, I guess I'm done with what I was doing. Uh, hook it up to the bus now, I guess. Yeah. Or is that what you've been doing? Yeah, I was hooking it up to the smelting arrays. So, do we want to start the bus a little bit higher since we put the... Um, uh, that would be fine, yeah. Maybe we can uh, start so it Right around here where I am. I mean, probably down past... The, well... Right, right about... Almost to the end. Not quite all the way. Or, well, why not, actually? Hmm. This balancer isn't quite getting full compression, but... It works. Well enough for us. Point yeah, isn't so much. A lot of those odd even compression or balancers don't get full compression. Well, it's getting full compression on the four belt. Oh, yeah, there are some artifacts, aren't there? Yep. Well, this is going to hold a lot of ore too. Well, yeah, because they're two hundred stacks, aren't they? 
That means that the uh, uh, the level calculations that I had in the smart ones aren't going to work without tweaking it, but I made it so you can tweak it easily enough. Convenient. Mm -mm. Neener. I'm not sure if that's the fat controller or if that's Picker Extended honking the horns. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I've never used either one on a solo map, so I don't know which that might be. Oops, you know, it, now that you think on it, Picker Extended probably isn't really that necessary to me. But uh, the Fat Controller, when you start getting all the damn trains that you get, I don't like the train interface. I, I really wish someone would make a mod for that, but I don't. maybe that's not moddable. <laughs> I don't think much of the interfaces are at this point. I think, though, one of the... Um, yeah, that's why these all have different alignments and stuff, is because every mod is literally drawing everything themselves in the various right. locations. And, I think uh, yeah, one of the FFS said that, that some of the... Or I read someplace, anyway, that some of the stuff will be moddable. Yeah, yeah. The, um, some of the interfaces. Yeah, you know, interfaces are one of the things that tends to be left for last. It's always done that way. Yeah, it's kind of a non-essential... I mean, we'll cludge along with the cludges until... Oh, crap! We're releasing next month! Ugh. <laughs> All right, uh, we have I think iron. we should... Well... What do you think? Should we go past our smelting stacks? Well, we're going to have to in order to start building anything. Yeah. So, yeah. But I just... Just did it from there. Just did it from there, just for fun. Yay! Fill it in, guys. Go, go, gadget bots. Let's get um. Let's uh. Get what we've got. What else? See, should we migrate the uh, ore from down here up to the smelters, or how should we handle? I think that? so. I think we can just weave it in, just uh, just merge the belts, just um, use a priority splitting or something. Just use priority splitter and, and to burn this this patch out first. Yeah. Uh, we're not quite ready to dismantle this just yet. No, we're gonna need some sort of a belt array and an inserter array. Well, we and could circuit arrays. Yeah. I think before we dismantle this thing. And it, well, then, uh, even then, we're going to need to keep it going for science. Yeah. So we have the red and green science built. So all that stuff's got to happen before we can dismantle this guy. And yeah, it's basically the substitution of green circuits for uh, electronic boards or circuit boards. Yeah. What exactly does that do, anyway? I don't know that it does anything. I just think it's an artifact of it being a weapon. Maybe. No, it's actually burning through the uh, nanobots. It's doing something. It's actually it's actually using the nanobots. If you look at the, the little green bar at the on the on the bots, yeah. it's actually burning through them. So don't do it too much. So we need to build. To start with, we need to build a uh, BCB array, right? Because we want to have that before we do. Yeah, before we get too belts, much further. We need to have them for the. Uh, if we need any more smelting than this, we could go to the right or the east, I mean, uh, or we can go out and just base it somewhere and be done with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we this have. Just... We're probably going to need four copper, at least four copper. Yeah. And then we have a, a tin. Well, what are, what are a these tin, things? A tin, a copper, or no, a tin, a lead, and a, um, what else can we put on there right now? I don't think we need anything else at the exact second. We're going to need a full belt of carbon, so we could put carbon in there. Carbon takes water, too, though. On the bus, you mean? That's a different array. Yeah. Yeah, the um, BEBs take need a full belt of carbon to make a full belt of BEBs. What do we use the Unless carbon we, for? 
elsewhere? Outside of that, yeah. Oh, there's quite a few. Um, aluminum. Reclaiming lead, I think. Silicon. Titanium. Lithium-ion batteries. Tungsten carbide. So yeah, we could uh, build a thing for carbon. Let it's us... gonna have to be different though, because it's um, because it's made in the different machines, and it needs water as a as an input. Yep. And it can be a shorter array too, because it's uh, one coal makes two carbon, so it can be a half array. So we could put that off to the east someplace or something different. Let's produce one red belt. So we should probably put you. a couple more of these smelters in then. So four for copper, one, two, three, four. four Tin for... lead for now. Uh um these are all alloys. What about silver? Are we gonna need that just yet? I don't know, I'm just asking if we want to have a smelting array forward or not. Well, let's put space for a couple more if we don't end up using them. We don't end up using them. Doesn't hurt to have the space. Uh, basically, we double. It takes about six point six 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 coal per second to get a yellow belt out of the um uh, for uh, for carbon, and fourteen of those red furnaces. Yeah. So, so that won't be a big array at all. That can that could be put somewhere. Yeah, we could maybe east. maybe put that on the bus or yeah, put it to the east something. Uh, we will of course eventually reclaim this area that the old or that the startup base is taking, but that will not be for a while. Uh, but by and large, this whole area can be vacated. I mean, by that point, we'll probably move our power. Speaking of power, let's take a peek here. Oh, we're doing fine. Uh, yeah. We're doing fine. Fine, just fine. About 50%. That's pretty good. So if yeah. we just have a couple more um, arrays worth there, then I think we'll, we're okay for our smelting arrays for now anyway. We can go We can go from there. Just put a couple on the east here? I put a couple here on the west. Oh, I think that's okay. That looks fine. We have the east too, like you said, so we have we have plenty of space because we could we could fit them in all the way up to the railroad tracks with some belt spaghetti. So would it be belt spaghetti or belt art? Yes. <laughs> it's like when you make macaroni art, that kind of thing. <laughs> Was that macrame? <laughs> no, actually, it's not macrame. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, though. Macrame. Oh, boy. That is one of those esoteric uh, crafts, though. That not everybody knows what the hell it is. <laughs> Kind of like, um, what crocheting and knitting, and there's a third one that I cannot think of. Name that people tend to get a little confused unless you actually do it yourself, and you're like, no, this is that. It <laughs> oh yeah, like needlepoint or something. Yeah, the various needlepoints because there's uh, knitting, which is you know what you make. Things you wear out of typically, 
Uh, but crocheting is for things like doilies and stuff like that. That um, lace and things of that nature is what you crochet. But anyway, at least that's what I know. I don't do either of those. But I have had I family members. I've had family members. Um, well, let's see. What's the one where you're poking... You're poking small, like maybe two inch long segments of yarn into a rug, basically. <laughs> it's what you tend to make out of them. I can't think of what that one is. Uh, I, I thought that was needlepoint. No, that's not needlepoint, though. You're right. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. They've all got names. Uh, like I said, I had family members that were into various forms of uh, needlepoint. Fun. Uh, except for when they tried to get me to do it. <laughs> no, I don't want to know how to knit. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, Exciting. we've been going on. We've been going on for forty minutes now, so I think that's probably where we'll have to leave it for today. Sounds good. Yeah, we got our iron on the rails. How's it going, by the way? Where is it sitting in the station unloading it's, itself? Good. Yeah, um, it's here, and I think the boxes... No, the boxes aren't full yet. They're starting to accrue, though, but they're not full good. yet. Uh, they're not going to go very fast because of those inserters, but we don't yeah. have any better. Until we have so. some better tech, we'll be stuck where we're at. All right, we're doing pretty good. We got a nice, uh, expandable, pretty much infinitely expandable train station here, uh, except for the amount of parking spaces. But we can always get inventive if we need to add more parking spaces. <laughs> well, we can always bury another train station uh, on the other side of the tracks or something crazy like that too. So we have lots of lots of availability. We're gonna we can head... even have another train station down here once we clean all this out. Yeah, that too. That's uh, We kind of got a pretty good start here as far as the logistics of our plans going. Um, we've got material everywhere. It's just getting decent amounts of it to do anything with. Uh, zinc, right. uh, aluminum, bauxite, rutile... Or is it Rudel? I don't know. Do not know. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, that should be where we let it go for today. Uh, this was Phasey and Phoenix joined by Wally, where we're both playing Factorio with our up and coming Bob's mod base, and we're moving along at a pretty good time. So, uh, yep. if you like, if you like my videos, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you have to hit the little bell there to get all the notifications now. Uh, but like my videos, leave comments. I like to read them all. And um, until next time, everybody, talk to you later. Bye-bye.